Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Rahul. Today we are solving an interesting array manipulation problem from lead code that is array operations to an array. This problem tests our ability to modify an array in place, apply conditions sequentially and efficiently move elements. If you are preparing for FANG level interviews, this one is worth master. In this video, we will cover a clear breakdown of the problem statement, possible approaches and why we choose a specific one. Then we will write one Evision Java code and explain it step by step. At the end, we will explain the time and space complexity analysis. So let's get started. So this is our problem. First of all, understand the problem statement clearly. We are given a zero indexed array nums consisting of non-negative integers. The problem asks us to apply n minus one operations where we have some conditions. First of all, if num of i is equal to num of i plus one, then we have to multiply num of i by 2 and we have to set num of i plus 1 to 0 that's the first condition we have to set second means if it is not then we have to skip the operation at last after processing shift all zeros to the end while maintaining the order of non-zero elements so if you see here you can understand this 1 2 2 1 1 0 so there will be no change at index 0 okay here at the second part 1 2 here these two are same means num of i m of i plus 1 at that time this m of 1 will become num of um, means it will get multiplied by 2 so it will change to 4 then the next one will become 0 again it will go like that we have to change at last we will get 1 4 2 0 0 0 means here it will become 1 4 0 1 1 0 then there will be no change at uh, i index 2 then again it will change here means 191 equal so this uh, 0 1 2 okay third index become 2 and uh, fourth index become 0 that's why we will get 1 4 0 2 0 0 then we have to move all zeros to the end that's the thing we have to do so there is two approaches we can perform in this one first of all brute force one it will have two separate passes first pass will uh, use to apply operations in one loop in second pass we have to move zeros to the end it will works perfectly but it will become inefficient due to the two separate passes instead of using two separate pass we will use only one pass that is the optimized approach that we are going to use in this one so instead of using two separate loops we will process the array in one pass means we have we will apply operations while iterating then we will use a pointer to track where to place non-zero elements. At last, we will efficiently move zeros to the end without a separate loop. So by using this method, we can avoid unnecessary iterations and improves efficiency. So let's start with our coding part. First of all, we have our class solution and uh, on 
method apply operation with input array nums so first of all we have to create one array to store the result int result is equal to new No, no, we have to take the length of this array. Then we need to create one pointer to track position for non zero elements. So int count is equal to zero. Then we need another variable i. So, first of all, we, we are going to iterate through the array. So for i is equal to zero, i less than nums dot length minus one because we have to do n minus one operations. So first of all, we have to ignore zero elements in order to for efficiency now we have to give our condition if nums of i is equal to nums of i plus one So here we have to double the value. We have our array result is equal to nums of i two. Okay. So here we doubled the value and we need to skip the next element since it becomes zero. Okay. Else we have to um, place the unchanged number now we have to um, move pointer forward once this operation is done So once this done, we have to check the last element, if not processed, if i am short length then we have to check it, result, count is equal to nums minus 1 ok at last we need to return the modified array right? 
can resolve okay let's run this code Yeah, it's working perfect. So here I'll just brief. First of all, I initialized one new array result to store the transformed elements. Then we iterate over the elements uh, over the array, checking for adjacent equal elements. If equal, then we double the first and set the second to, second to zero. If not, we simply copy the numbers to our new array that is the result then we maintain a counter pointer to track the correct position for placing non-zero elements at last we clearly ensure the last element is processed correctly so here the last part it is so we um, going for the complexity analysis so for processing elements it took big of n for moving non zeros same big of n and uh, since we process the array in one pass it becomes big of n and our approach runs in linear time in case of space complexity it is also big of n for the new array result if modifying nums in place we could do this in big of one so why this one is efficient so here we single pro, uh, single pass processing that's the first thing means no extra iterations over the array second memory efficient uses only one additional array Third, handles its cases, which works for empty array, single elements, and already sorted case. Just submit the code. <clears throat> mm. yeah so working fine so that's it we have successfully solved the apply operations to an array problem in big of n time using a single pass approach this method is optimal for technical interviews balancing efficiency and clarity if you found this explanation and video helpful smash that like button subscribe for more dsc and java tutorials and drop a comment on what problem you would like you like to solve next thanks for watching and see you in next one